Welcome back inside the Now Morning Show. We have some representatives who are going to Pune, India to represent Trinidad and Tobago at the Miss India Worldwide Competition. And they're joining us on set this morning. Let me say congratulations and welcome to the show to the winner of the Miss Miss India World Trinidad and Tobago pageant, Dana Sipasad, Mrs. India World, Anissa Ali, and teen winner of the Miss India World Trinidad and Tobago pageant, Sagarika Saka. How are you ladies doing? Good. Good. Doing great. Thank welcome you. to the great. show. Congratulations. Thank I you. imagine that you're all, you're all extremely excited to be heading to India. Um, Firstly, let me start with you, Dana. How was the experience going through the competition? For me, it was definitely a roller coaster of, you know, finding my fit and my comfort zone and where, you know, I need to improve and, you know, become a better person and become, you know, my best person to achieve something that I think is bigger than myself and be, be, being able to represent Trinidad and Tobago internationally. It's an amazing opportunity. So for me, the experience was amazing. So... All right, tell me um, from you, Anissa. Well, for me, I've actually done pageants before. Right. However, there was a gap of a few years uh, before I actually entered this one again. Mm -hmm. So it was just getting back on my feet. Of course, it was a challenge, but it was all about, again, self-growth, development. Yeah. And of course, we made uh, a bond with all the other girls and of course, with these two girls. So really excited, of course. Uh, proud to represent Trans Tobago, and we do hope that we can make Trans Tobago proud. Were the three competitions separately, or was it all one competition, and then you all just have different titles based on the different uh, categories? Right, so it was one competition, but we had the three categories. So right. on one night, well, we had the talent competition early January, and I think about two weeks after, we had the final night, but all categories were judged on the same night. On the night. same night. Yeah. All right, Sadrika, tell me about your experience in the teen pageant. It was a truly an exhilarating experience for me as I entered when I was only 15 years old. Mm. I was timid, I was shy, but I was able to grow into who I am today, have a lot more confidence, and I'm truly... I'm bursting with pride by being able to say I'm being able to represent my country, yeah. my country that brought me up, and I've been encompassed in this diverse culture, and truly it's been an amazing experience thus far. And I imagine it's only going to get better as you guys get ready to head to Pune in India. Well, we have uh, Neha Karina, who is the representative for Miss India Worldwide TNT, and she's on the phone line with us this morning. Neha, good morning. I think she's on the phone line. Hello? Neha Karina, morning. Yeah, hello. Hi, you hear me clearly, right? Yes, good morning. All right, these ladies are, are just here boasting of how great their experience was in the competition. Tell me some of the tricks that you would have used, for example, to be able to break out uh, young Sagrika out of her nerves and out of her inexperience to be able to have her proudly representing Trinidad and Tobago on the world stage. Okay, so the pageant is about, as they have told you, the experience were amazing, their experience were something out of this world in terms of what we did was we developed a program. Right. So we kept reminding the girls that it's not about the end of the journey where you win a, a pageant crown. It's about you having this experience and molding yourself into something different, something that refines you as a person. Mm -hmm. So when you go to uh, interview these girls um, for their screening process for the Messenger Worldwide pageant, we would have gotten three things that was which was a major core factor. I've been bullied at school. My confidence level is a bit different and low, and I'm not sure who I am. So these were the three missions of the pageant, which was to build their confidence, understand and accept, um, and adjust towards situations of real life situations where you people will like you, people may not like you, but how do you adjust in that forum? And then the third mission was to find yourself. And I think these, all the ladies in the pageant would have found themselves through this pageant. Um, uh, even after the pageant, we, we did a prize giving and a tea party to honor all the girls to what they have learned. Because we have done, we have invested a lot into these girls from um, learning your hair, your makeup, confidence, etiquette, guiding these girls, communication classes, broadcasting classes runway training, walking training, confidence classes, just to name a bit of what we have achieved within this whole mode, within the four to five months that the girls have joined the pageant. Yeah. And I'm proud to say that, you know, even though these three are the ones that represent the country, um, the other representations of the 21, the 20, 21 girls that have entered the pageant within that, that year of the 23 for Miss India Worldwide, Miss, 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 Miss Teen and Mrs., 
they have gained so much from the patterns, not just a title, wanting the title, but they found themselves. Nice, and it's lovely to hear this holistic experience. Let me chat a little bit with the ladies. Um, sure. Well, as a student of St. Joseph's Convent, I'm going to come back to you, Sagrigo. Yes. Um, what What is the element of the competition for you that, you know, you said you said a lot of it changed who you are, yes. right? Uh, but I'm curious as to, you know, everybody seems to have a thing that they hold on to in these competitions when it comes to uh, a community project or, or things like that. What was yours? Uh, so for me personally, before I was completely involved in academics, I did create a club in my school, but also on Mondays I do tutor orphans in mathematics, those who are less fortunate, as I have been gifted the ability to study at a prestigious institution such as St. Joseph's Convent San Fernando. Mm -hmm. And I feel that if I can give back to someone, if they aren't able and less fortunate and can't access the same things I was able to, if I can give back even a little bit of my knowledge, I would say that my journey and my purpose has been f fulfilled. Nice. And so I want to come to you. Uh, I'm going to ask the same question because I understand that you have a passion for single-use plastics. <laughs> or against them, rather. <laughs> against them. Against them, most definitely. Well, one interesting thing about our pageant, which you know sets this pageant apart, is that we focused on the environment and so right. trying to bring awareness uh, mm -hmm. to climate change and whatnot. I also am part of the Kubo Point Lisa Chamber of Commerce. I am the third vice president. And seeing that we coupled environment with the pageant, one of the initiatives that we took part in with the chamber is we partnered with the Shaw Foundation to distribute um, 5,000 seedlings um, a few months ago to, mm. to members of the public. So we focus on helping the community and the business, com the community by extension, as well as the business community grow. So we did the seedling drive. It. It's a yearly thing. Mm -hmm. And um, yes, my focus was on single-use plastics. I am very much against it. I do feel as though we can make simple lifestyle changes. I spoke particularly about straws and um, you know, I feel as though a, a plastic straw, if we all were to change our lifestyles and just adopt a simple thing as using a reusable straw, it would make a big difference. We mm -hmm. are not just really here to depend on our leaders to make that change. We need to make that change for ourselves. So single-use plastics, I think, is the easiest way to make that change. It's definitely <laughs> a, a start in the right direction. Yes. How are you balancing being an attorney at law, being in the chamber of commerce, and doing this? You're going in there, how are you doing all this? It has been really challenging. Um, I love a challenge, but time management. Right. Of course, it comes with stress, with frustration, <laughs> but, you know, it's all part of the journey. If you really want something, you must sacrifice and, and, and make the efforts to get it. Now, Dana, I understand that you also have a similar passion when it comes to planting, especially as we get ready for Corpus Christi tomorrow, I don't know if that makes a difference. But tell me about your, about your passion when it comes to the environment and, and what, what your input is. I know um, the environment is so important to us. You know, it's gifted us with so many things, herbs, etc. And my question, actually, for the pageant was, what was the most positive thing COVID-19 taught you? Mm -hmm. And my answer was carbon emission. And it's so important to, you know, realize the impact we have on our environment and the things that we put out into the environment, mm -hmm. they have an effect. And you know, all of these things can lead to climate change, global warming, and reforestation is so important, especially now that we're tearing down these forests to create you know, different buildings, different communities. So planting a tree makes a difference. Mm -hmm. We need to combat you know, carbon emissions. We need to combat what we think is dangerous to our environment and planting a tree today can help save that. Now I also understand that two of you all are also dancers. Yes. yes. So what, you're classically trained and yes. you used to dance or you still dance with Chef Shakti? I used to dance with Chef Shakti. I'm now actually a member of the Kalnak Dance Academy but ah. I've been a, a dancer for about 25 plus years. Do you think that the dancing, that your classical dancing training helped in this pageant at all? Yes, it did. It was a huge impact on my, you know, talent. But, you know, I grew up learning dance and it was so important to me because it taught me, you know, a lot of personal goals, how to express my emotions through dance. And it really was a chain for me to be, you know, more tolerant, more, you know, respectful. And it was that point in my life where I learned different things and become more self-aware through dance. Yeah, and discipline as well. Mm -hmm. uh, Niha is still on the line with us. Niha, any words of encouragement that you want to give to the ladies or that we need to be able to give to these ladies as they get ready to head to Pune in India? My encouragement will be that, you know, when you win the pageant, you don't just represent yourself, you represent the nation, which is Trinidad and Tobago. Mm -hmm. To stand in the international platform, not, it, it's not an easy thing because one, 
You are not just the Nasi Prasad and the Uwasa Karika. You are actually uh, a product of Trinidad and Tobago, be it how big or small the entity may be. Now, this yeah. is a worldwide pageant, it's an international pageant. And when it comes to representing on stage, you have to give your best, you have to follow the guidelines, and the most important thing is you have to have fun. If you all overthink, right. you will fail. <laughs> thank you. Thank you so much, Niha. Unfortunately, that's all the time we have for the show this morning, but I thank you for your input. Ladies, thank you so much for joining us, and congratulations. We thank appreciate you, you representing mm -hmm. Trinidad and Tobago on the world stage. Thank and you. I want to encourage each and every one of you to go out there, just like these ladies, and make a difference today now, because together we aspire, and if together we perspire, then together we most definitely can achieve on behalf of Kimberly D'Souza, Natasha Lake and the entire team here at TTT Americas wishing you a fantastic day and a fantastic holiday tomorrow please enjoy it please be safe and ladies all the best in India thank, thank you. you all right enjoy the rest of the day guys take care <laughs>